The state of Maine should really do something about all those killer clowns, undead dogs, and other evil entities. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments from Stephen King movies. Listen, if you can't find any, it's okay. I just thought it'd be nice. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at the most thrilling, dramatic, and iconic scenes from movies based on the works of author Stephen King. Though television shows like Under the Dome will not be considered, miniseries and TV films will be. And fair warning, you can expect plenty of spoilers. I don't think that's true. Number 10, Gage's Resurrection, Pet Cemetery. It's going to be all right. Losing a pet is one thing, but losing a child is something else entirely. All things considered, we can't exactly blame Lewis for wanting to resurrect his son after his tragic accident. Of course, playing God never ends well in the movies. In this unnerving sequence, a devastated Lewis digs up Gage's body and reburies him at the ritual site. Gage soon rises from the grave, but he's gone through a few notable changes. Since the first resurrection doesn't work out so well, you'd think that Lewis would learn his lesson. But alas, he then proceeds to bring his wife back from the dead, leaving us with a killer conclusion. Darling. Number 9. The Death of Moochie Wells, Christine. <laughs> the combined efforts of Stephen King and director John Carpenter could make a sentient car scary on screen. As preposterous as the setup may be, this film actually develops a Plymouth Fury into a legitimately threatening foe. Don't believe us? Well, just watch Christine's first murder, which mixes dark humor with heart-racing thrills. Hey, you ain't mad, are you? After a run-in with some bullies, Christine sets out to unleash her road rage. Hooking Moochie Wells' attention with a little music, the villainous vehicle slowly prepares for the kill. <laughs> Flashing her lights, she chases Moochie down an alley where he hits a literal dead end. Somebody should have told Moochie to never bring a knife to a car fight. <laughs> Number 8. Danny Visits Mark, Salem's Lot Though originally billed as a miniseries in two parts, since its initial 1979 airing, Salem's Lot has been re-edited and treated as a film. And that's a good thing, because it would have been criminal to leave this moment off our list. When staring out a window in the dark, one cannot help but feel as if someone is out there looking back. This scene superbly taps into that fear with its heart-pounding music and gothic atmosphere. Open the window, Mark! Gazing at the mist outside, Mark Petrie does see someone, his friend Danny, who has been turned into a vampire. Scratching the glass, Danny asks Mark for an invitation inside. Fortunately, Mark has seen enough horror movies to know better. Go away. <sighs> Go away! Number 7. Train, Stand By Me Train! Not every Stephen King adaptation has a supernatural element. Stand By Me, for example, is a coming-of-age story about four friends that go looking for a dead body. With that said, the film still has a genuine sense of dread, most notably when our protagonists wind up on the wrong side of the tracks. The scene quietly builds tension as Gordy realizes a train is coming. While Chris and Teddy outrace the locomotive, Gordy and an especially frightened Vern are forced to jump for it. <laughs> Although they narrowly cheat death, it's a big step forward on a journey that will mark the end of their childhood innocence. Hey, at least now we know when the next train was due. Number 6. Andy's Escape, The Shawshank Redemption The guard simply didn't notice. Neither did I. After spending 19 years in prison for a crime he didn't commit, Andy Dufresne mysteriously vanishes from his cell. The warden and guards are completely clueless until they discover a giant hole behind Andy's poster of Raquel Welch. Flashing back to the previous night, Andy is shown escaping through the tunnel. 
The final stretch proves to be the most grueling, as Andy crawls through 500 yards of filth. Andy crawled to freedom through 500 yards of shit-smelling foulness I can't even imagine. At the end of the sewer pipe, however, is the fresh smell of freedom. Since this film's release, the rain pouring down on Andy has become a beacon of inspiration. It's an image that reminds us that even during the darkest of times, there is always hope. Number 5. John Coffey's Execution – The Green Mile John Coffey, you have been condemned to die in the electric chair by a jury of your peers. Stephen King sure knows how to write prison stories. The Green Mile also revolves around a wrongfully incarcerated man. Unlike Andy, though, there's no justice for John Coffey. With extraordinary powers and a heart of gold, this gentle giant is too pure for such a cruel world. Thus, Coffey accepts his fate and walks the Green Mile to the electric chair, where he politely asks not to be left in the dark during his last moments on Earth. Don't put me in the dark. I was afraid of the dark. Knowing that an innocent man is about to meet his maker, Paul Edgecombe bids Coffey a tear-jerking final farewell before reluctantly giving the order. As sparks fly, the audience can collectively feel their hearts breaking. Number 4. Georgie's Abduction – It no, please, no! Another miniseries later repackaged as a film, It is the stuff of nightmares. Losing his paper boat, little Georgie comes face to face with Pennywise the Clown, who lures the young man below to his doom with the promise of fun and games. Hi, Georgie! Aren't you going to say hello? This chilling moment likely inspired a generation of children to fear clowns, but whether you suffer from coolrophobia or not, Georgie's abduction will resonate with any parent or older sibling, acting as the ultimate endorsement of stranger danger. They float? Oh, yes. They float, Georgie. They float. And when you're down here with me, you float too! Menacing creepy and relatable. This scene is no laughing matter. Well, until you consider the fact that Pennywise bears a striking resemblance to the concierge from Home Alone 2. I'm afraid you're mistaken, sir. Number 3. Carrie's Revenge – Carrie Based on Stephen King's first published novel, Carrie follows a bullied teenager who finally snaps when it starts raining pig's blood on prom night. Sealing the doors shut, the telekinetic Carrie unleashes a lifetime's worth of pent-up anger. As the gym breaks out in panic, we're not sure whether to feel satisfied that Carrie is finally getting retribution or sorry for the innocent souls caught up in her unfocused wrath. All we know for sure is that this scene is a masterwork of cinematography, editing, and horror. Interestingly enough, this imagery was largely emphasized in the trailer, spoiling the climax. It will be a nightmare. <laughs> However, this one moment proved so mind-blowing that audiences had to see the entire movie. <laughs> Number 2. The Hobbling – Misery You've been out of your room. No, I haven't. Following a car crash, novelist Paul Sheldon finds himself at the mercy of his greatest admirer. But as Annie Wilkes' mood swings shift from unsettlingly calm to flat-out psychotic, Paul plots his escape. Figuring out that her captive is intent on escaping, Annie goes to extreme lengths to keep him incapacitated. Drugging and strapping Paul to his bed, Annie lays down the law with a sledgehammer. The operation was called hobbling. The very idea of hobbling is shocking enough. But what makes this scene especially disturbing is how nonchalantly Annie breaks Paul's ankles, as if she's a caregiver who knows best. Trust me. God's sake! It's for the best. Annie, please! <laughs> it's solidified her place as one of cinema's most haunting villains, earning actress Kathy Bates a Best Actress Academy Award. God, I love you. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. <laughs> Call the police! Help! The ice is 
is gonna break! I want you out of here. I don't want you in my boy's life anymore. Number one, here's Johnny, The Shining. I'm home. Ironically, Stephen King himself wasn't a fan of Stanley Kubrick's take on The Shining. However, nobody can deny the impact this film has made. But with its surreal atmosphere, chilling imagery, and unhinged lead performance from Jack Nicholson. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. A dull boy with a severe case of writer's block, an overworked Jack Torrance reaches his breaking point. His wife locks herself in the bathroom, but that's nothing a little axe can't fix. What ensues is a moment for the ages, turning a lighthearted Tonight Show quote into something seriously terrifying. Here's Johnny! <laughs> From the delivery to the insane expression on Jack's face, it never fails to send a shiver up our spines and remains a pop culture staple. Here's Johnny! Don't! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.